about four months ago, I asked you lot on Twitter to drop your TFT loadouts so that I could do a loadout review. And here that video is. Now, this tweet did some numbers, so I will be splitting this into two videos, one now and one sometime in the future, hopefully before the end of the year, but we are in November, so who knows. Now, I do ask that you don't add your loadout to this tweet because I'm not going to be using any new loadouts added after this video goes up, but I will do this in the future when TFQ gets a couple more updates and a few more cosmetics added. So follow me on Twitter if you want to be involved in that. So we're back on the wonderful tier maker, of course. These are the tiers, the categories. We've got Fortnite Fashion Show, lowest of the low. That's all I need to say, I think. Uh, Gucci, just a bit above Fortnite Fashion Show, but not much because I don't know what the fuck they're doing over there. Then we've got Hat Wearing Man, you know, the, the classic, the in-universe TF2 comic when they updated the when they gave the Merc's hats. He's a hat wearing man. It's very deep cut in the... Uh, TF2 lore. Then we've got Manco, which is like the designer Manco, but really they just upmark items as seen on this MVM map. And finally, we've got Dapper Cadaver, the magazine spy is reading in the expiration date cinematic. So we have 20 wonderful loadouts for me to rate. If, if yours gets marked low, doesn't mean it's a bad loadout, just means it wasn't for me personally. That's that's it. That's all. I, that's it. Okay. I don't hate your loadout. All right. Let's get into this. And our first loadout is from Inferno. Now Inferno is a great guy. Does some good stuff in the TFU community. And his loadout, I feel I've I've seen it a lot, so I'm very well aware of what this loadout is. And I'm actually a big fan of his loadout. I'm not a scout. I don't think it's Dapper Cadaver level personally. I I do like it. It does look good. There, you've chosen a good selection of cosmetics there that suit one another. I think it's in Manco. Manco. I think you pronounce it Manco. It should be pronounced Manco. Yeah, you're in Manco. Almost tippity top, but not quite. And next we have Not John. This wonderful engineer loadout. You've used the Dead of Night, which is a really nice cosmetic. I, I rate that. A Dead of Night user. Very cool. I'm not really a fan of the... Is it like the candy topper. Now, personally, I'm not a fan of the Citizen Kane. In my humble opinion, I don't like the cosmetic. But you have got the festive beard, which is also a very nice cosmetic. I think it's going to have to be tier 3 for you. Hat wearing man. You've got two really nice cosmetics that I rate. However, the Citizen Kane does bring it down, in my opinion. Moving on to Crusher of Rats. Or Meme Fortress 2. They've actually said that, personally, rather than creating a loadout that exists to look nice... I just decided to make gimmick loadouts that are based around pre-existing characters. I can I can rate that. That is that is good. Cosplay in TF2 essentially. And they have created Sephiroth from the uh, Final Fantasy series, I believe. And yeah, they've done a good job. It it does look like Sephiroth. Very nice use of the Batman cape there. Very cool. Hmm. However, if we're ranking it based on it being just a loadout, doesn't look the greatest. If I'm going to be honest. I am sorry. I'm sorry. But it just does not look like that good of a TF2 loadout. I feel like the chest area is very empty. Now I know that's because you've used a trouser cosmetic and the cape. So you can't really put anything there. Or you'd lose the Sephiroth hair. But I'd rather have that chest cosmetic than the, um, than the trouser cosmetic I think. So that is going in Gucci tier. It's not a bad loadout. It does look like Sephiroth. Y you've achieved what you set out to do. But personally, I'm not a fan. So these next two loadouts are from a name that is hard to pronounce. Loren Rosenhal? Maybe? Perhaps? <laughs> Apologies if I uh, said that wrong. But they have some very fancy double unusual loadouts. Probably the first double unusual loadouts of the video. And they do look pretty cool. I can't lie. So this scout one is using the bonk boy. The metal uh, bonk hat. I said the the lead bonk or some the bonk lead wear, and then the weight room warmer, which is very nice body cosmetic. Uh, I actually do like this. I can't tell which unusual effects are on which cosmetic, but I do think it looks pretty dope. And they've got an unusual scattergun as well, just to flex on us. Jeez, I think that is going in a hat wearing man. Very nice, um, but I think you might have ever done it with unusual effects. But hey, if that's what you like, that's what you like. Their spy loadout, which is the 
the Musketeer Hatch, Chalmers, Chalmers Chapeau, I want to say, the Dead of Night and Le Party Phantom. It's nice, but you've used a lot of yellow, and personally, I don't think uh, yellow is a nice colour on TF2 loadouts, Australian yellow. I don't think it works that well, personally. That's just a personal opinion, of course. That does drop it into Gucci tier. You didn't use any paints on the scout loadout, and that was nice. But you kind of went overboard with the paints on your spy loadout, in my opinion, of course. And next we have Starchasm. Now, he also submitted two loadouts of his. And we've got his classic Starchasm NG here. Very iconic, I think, to his brand. And I like it. I think it's a nice NG loadout. It's not too over the top. It looks like it's meant to be like that, you know? It looks like it's an outfit It's an outfit that works is what I'm trying to say here. And that's going next to Inferno in Manco. And next we have his heavy loadout, also very nice. The beard and hair combo is very good. I will, I do rate that. And then the camo on the sleeves makes him feel like some sort of special operative. Again, Manco. You've smashed it with these loadouts, Starchasm. Good job. And next we have Fog Ballistic. The this is they've also submitted two loadouts. Damn, lot, lot double loadouts here. I did say maximum of two, so fair enough. Here we have a lovely sniper loadout. I do feel like the sniper rifle is a bit out of character compared to the rest of the loadout. It looks like he's prepared for the cold weather. That's probably going to be me in a couple weeks when the temperature really drops. So I'm going to take inspiration from your sniper loadout for my winter fit. He does look very cozy, and I I, I must say I I would like to be as cozy as this guy. But his sniper rifle doesn't really fit with the rest of the aesthetic, in my opinion, of course. So yeah, it's a nice it's a nice loadout. You've done well. And the earbuds as well, very nice. I'm going to give you a hat-wearing man. If there was a different sniper rifle that fit the theme of the, fit the colours of your loadout better, I'd rate it Manco, personally. A Ninja Scout by the looks of things. Buds again, very nice. Very versatile cosmetic, it seems. But I'm not really a fan of this one. I do prefer your sniper one, personally. Actually, I'm going to move the sniper up. Because your scout is going in hat-wearing man. It's a decent loadout. Again, I think the paints ruin it. It's a nice combination of cosmetics. And I feel like if they, would, if they were unpainted, it'd be better. Pers it's just personal preference. I don't like the purple paint. That's really it. <laughs> but it does look nice. It does look nice. Ezra Villamar. Villi Ezra Villamar. And their lovely scout loadout. Now this is actually kind of like a almost a low key scout loadout. Like this could be a real a real man just wandering about, and I wouldn't question it. it. He looks he looks good. It's a nice simple clean loadout. That's going in. That's going in Manco, I think. Very nice. Nothing too distracting. I mean, the bare legs here and the thermal sleeves here, kind of a bit iffy. You wouldn't be that warm, but I like the loadout. Very nice. And then we have Cotton Lull. They've got this lovely little uh, sheet made here. So they've got the dark Falkirk helm with the paint. I will say, I do think all the paints work well with the dark Falkirk helm. Because of that plume of feathers you get, I think you can have that painted any colour and it'll look nice. So I do like the, uh, the yellow here. White out wraps again, another nice scout cosmetic. And the blizzard breeches, which are painted, but I can't really tell. But maybe... Maybe it's the shoes or something. I, I I don't know. I do think this is a nice loadout though. I don't think it works that well. Because you, you're you wearing a night helmet with more modern clothes. Which looks a bit weird in my opinion. I know it's an unusual hat. And it's nice to wear an unusual. But it does kind of make the loadout seem a bit weird in my opinion. That's just personal preference. I'm going to stick it in hat wearing man. I'm sorry. But I do think the combination of a knight's helm... And a more modern jacket and trousers is a bit odd. And then we have Sherno. They've also submitted two lead outs to this video. First is their soldier, which I think looks pretty nice. It looks like a almost an old timey pilot, which I, I that's a vibe I fuck with. He's got a lovely mustache, lovely flight cap, and uh, is that the classified coif maybe? Soldier body cosmetic? Either way, it looks lovely. You're going into Manco. I can't really fault this loadout. It just looks nice. And the rocket launcher is a nice touch. And this is his scout loadout. Now this is very different. Whereas his, his soldier had like a an almost like a set theme of what they're going for. This one, not so much. It's is he kind of like a futuristic dude? Like a futuristic sci-fi dude, I guess. I could see that. The 3D glasses kind of throwing me off of there. It's a nice hair cosmetic. 
great choice. Not really sure about the 3D glasses on their own. Great cosmetic, should be an all class. But on this loadout, I don't think it works, personally. I do like the, is it the Flapjack? Flap, flap, no, no, mm -hmm. no, that's the wrong one. It's, an, it's, an, it's a decent loadout, I think, if you changed up the eyeglasses, if you changed the glasses to something different, it would be better, personally. And that's going in Hat Wearing Man, because it's nice, but it's not the greatest. And now we have a Moist Carpet and their Soldier. We got a triple unusual loadout here, god damn! They, they really be flexing on us. They really came here to flex on you lot. With the unusual lucky shot, the unusual soldier stash, and the exquisite rack. However, their attempt for three unusuals has backfired, them in, backfired on them in a loadout rating video. Because while the lucky shot and the soldier stash work really well together, and I'd say yeah, you, know, you could use those together, the exquisite rack ruins it, in my opinion. You've just focused on the hat. You haven't done any of the other body. Now I know that's because you can't get unusuals in those regions, but go for that triple unusual has kind of cooked you. Because while the effect does look cool, you're leaving the rest of the soldier under under furnished, I'd say. I'd say get rid of the exquisite rack, put a body cosmetic on, and you've got a much better loadout. But you went for triple unusual, and I can't really fault you because that is a flex. But for me, that's going in Gucci, purely because You've just focused on one one part of the loadout. And now we have a tendon blade with this lovely little poster render going on. I like it, I like it. So from what I can see, they have the apparitions aspect, they have the sub-zero suit, and they have the robot pyro's beanie with these. Uh, it's either a black hole or time warp effect, which is one of my favorite unusual effects. So I might have to give them a, a couple props for that. The yellow paint works with the Australium. I think that is a good combination very nice i do like this loadout it's very nice and the poster is is great hmm this is a tough one because i like it but also yellow paint you know if there was any other gun or even no gun i don't think yellow paint would work so well with all that in mind that is going straight in to dapper cadaver well done well done attendant bleed you smashed it with this loadout it's very nice looking the yellow paint works with your gun if it was a different gun in that poster or no gun at all, maybe not. But I feel like because you've you've kind of paired them all together, it's a nice looking loadout. Bravo, you made it to Dapper Cadaver. 12. Now this is one I'm sure you all are aware of. This is JPEG. Let's go. JPEG's loadout is pretty iconic within the TF2 uh, fandom, I would say. Obviously he's one of the best scouts ever. So you're, you're bound to have seen his loadout. However, JPEG. I don't think it's that nice as a loadout. It's iconic, and I'll give you that it is iconic. But I feel if you got rid of the badges, you got rid of the flare, and used the body cosmetic, it'd be a lot better. That's my opinion, of course. And so I hate to do this to you, JPEG, but you're going in hat wearing man because yes, it's an iconic loadout. Everyone knows, everyone knows the JPEG Scout, and it is iconic. And I do feel like he's going to beat my ass out of the computer screen. Please don't. <laughs> Plus. But yeah, you've got a nice loadout, very iconic and all, but could utilize a body cosmetic instead of the flare, in my humble opinion. I know the flare is, is a part of you, it's part of your brand, I understand that, but personally, as a loadout, I can't rate it that highly. So here we have Usagi Bunny, with a wonderful picture of their loadout, big fan of this, it's like the, the 90s cup is represented here in the grenade launcher, which, very cool wall paint, may I add. You've got the Dangerous 2, one of the most <laughs> controversial TF2 cosmetics because it destroyed the art style of TF2 apparently. And then they added a fucking banana. So who knows? Uh, you've got, what's this? The, 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 blah. It's a nice hat. <laughs> I can't remember the name, but it's a nice hat. And you've got the Buckton All Stars, I believe. However, I do want to say, leaving Demo's legs this, this exposed does not sit right with me. I'm not sure why. The loadout, it is it is alright. I feel like you could have focused more on the body. Personally, I just like a body cosmetic. I think that's what it is. Maybe if you got rid of the Dangerous 2 for a flashy body cosmetic, maybe it could work better. Who knows? Um, but I do like the Jazzy War Paint. So for me, that's going straight to Hat Wearing Man as well. It's very nice. Okay, next up is Salty Mundy. They've also submitted two wonderful cosmetics, and this is the first one. It's a nice bit of art of their pyro loadout. 
I can't really see much of what the loadout is, apart from the bird's nest and maybe, maybe a body cosmetic. I'm not too certain. Um, so we're just going to rank it off of this alone. And the bird cage is a very cool cosmetic. I can't knock it. Very nice. But I, I can't see enough to rate you highly. So the art is nice. It's a loadout rating video, not an art rating video, I'm afraid. So I'm going to have to put you in Gucci, because you haven't done enough, in my opinion. I can't see enough of this loadout. It may be a sick loadout, and I might be eating my words, but for now, it's in Gucci. I'm, I'm sorry. And this is their second loadout. This looks like a picture of their screen, which is fair enough. I'm not here to grade quality. We have a very burly demo man. Jeez. He has the, the burly beast. I don't know what it's called. The Robo Fro, and I can't tell if there's a third cosmetic. I don't know, this guy just looks very bulky. He looks like he's got a very small, he looks like he's skipped leg day, from what I can see. But it's a very nice cosmetic. I think if the if you had the proper Fro, it'd be a lot better. I can't tell if there's a third cosmetic from this picture. There very well could be, but I'm not, not sure. <laughs> I'm just not sure. So I'm going to put you... In hat wearing man, it's a very decent loadout. You've got a body cosmetic. If the if the this body cosmetic was on this soldier, this demo loadout, that'd be up to Manko straight away. But yeah, it's it's an interesting loadout. I can't tell if there's three cosmetics, but what you've shown me looks decent, looks good, and I'll put it in hat wearing man. And here we have Deco is here with another two loadouts. Let's go. This is their engineer. They're using the provisions cap. The cute suit and the endothermic exo wear. I like it. I like it. I do think the section just below the neck, where the, the the top of the chest would be, is a bit weird because there's supposed to be like a shirt there, like a collar, and it's covered up by the cute suit, but also looks kind of funky fresh. And the cute suit is a very cool cosmetic nonetheless. I like it. These are all very cool cosmetics, and you've used them very well together. So that is going in Manco. Very nice. What the fuck is this, Deco? What what on earth have you done? That's that's going to change Dapper Cadaver, Jesus Christ. In reality, I hate it. You've used the binoculars. Great cosmetic. Can't fault that. But the amount of troll faces I'm seeing, gee, gee, just go down to Fortnite Fashion Show. God, God damn. I've been epically trolled, and for that, you, you're going to the Shadow Realm, I'm afraid, Deco. Here we have Kilogram. I know Kilogram quite well it's a name i recognize they actually gave me their piss beard one i actually have the the original piss beard so this is piss beard two which iconic cosmetic with the antarctic researcher very nice but again the hat it, it, it ruins it for me i don't like the the uh, the hat i'm sorry kilogram the same reason i put not john down there is the hat kind of takes away from the whole loadout you've both got the same beard cosmetic as well i'm i'm okay with the festive beard I think it's neat, so I'm going to have to put you in hat wearing man, purely because of that hat. If you change the hat, I think you'd have a sick loadout on your hands, and it is, it is, an, it is a nice loadout, don't let me take that away from you, but I just feel that the, the hat doesn't work with the rest of the cosmetics in my humble opinion. And here we have Cookie TF, or Cookie TF2, we've got the Assassin's Attire, um, some horns, and uh, that hat, I'm having thoughts about this one, part of me likes it. Part of me doesn't. I think personally, it's the horns. I don't think the horns work well in this loadout. Well, they they do it. They work well, but they're not for me because they're just kind of clipping through the hat. I kind I I think I can understand the vibe you're going for with this loadout, like a devilish Frenchman. But uh, I don't think it's worked. If the horns like came out from under the hat or like just in front of the hat, I think it'd be very nice. But obviously, you can't do that with the crit regions and TF2 hats. That once that once they're there, they're there. You can't move them. Um, I'm glad it's not the massive curly ones that are on the picture of the um, horns, the backpack icon. So I do like it, and I'm okay with the pink paint. The pink paint, no, it's acceptable in this loadout, I think. Just the horns, I think. I don't think the horns work that well. So you're going in hat wearing man as well. And here we have Bree with this wonderful poster, the dumbass poster. I actually do like this poster. I should probably make one of my own loadout at some point. Um, but the loadout, the colours. Up until the Crone Stone, they work well. The, the pink throughout the loadout, is, it, it, it looks normal. But the Crone Stone in yellow or green, I can't exactly tell. Not the best. 
not the best choice in my opinion. Obviously, uh, if anyone's loadout is their choice, but personally for me, this is a Gucci tier loadout. I think if you change, if they had a different coloured crone stone, maybe, maybe a different hat altogether, it might be a higher ranking. But personally, those colours, they don't work well for me. Nice cosmetic choices though. And then we have Robert OC7. They have submitted two loadouts, and I must say, that's a very cool hood. I like the, uh, what the, what the fucking hexagons or something. I can't remember what shape that is. But here we have his lovely, lovely scout loadout, and I, I quite like this actually. What we got? We got the Hermes, the Mustachioed Man, and the Dead of Night, and they all work together quite well. I, I like this actually, like a World War One pilot. You're going, you're going to Manco, mate. I don't really have to. I don't really have much to say. I just like the loadout. Very nice. This iconic loadout. A lot of people have done it, but it doesn't stop it being any less cool. We've got the dead head, the space diver, and I think that's the. The head full of hot air, maybe? Could be wrong. Um, but yeah, he's a very cool, looks like a dead astronaut. I love it. Very cool vibes. That's going into Apple Cadaver as well. Very nice. I'd, again, I don't have much to say. You've smashed it. It looks very cool. I like it. Good job. And finally, we have the bison man himself. We have definitely not Matt. But he might be Matt. Who knows? This is his very very iconic loadout right here with the bison of course i just this is just a very cool looking loadout the the, the coat the beard and the hair they all work well together god damn you smashed it it's like a grizzled arctic veteran that is also going in dapper cadaver Ooh. so that that is that that is my the, the official subscriber tier list of your loadouts if your loadout is in this video, I hope you don't hate me from where I put your loadout. It's all on personal opinion. I'd like to thank you all for submitting your loadouts on that tweet. It was very cool to see everyone's loadouts and part two will be out at some point. Might be the end of the year, might be the beginning of next year. Who knows? But I do want to say a big thank you to everyone for submitting your loadouts. And please don't kill me for where I've put your loadouts because it's all out of personal opinion. I've had some very cool loadouts, very unique loadouts. Each one of your loadouts is nice and I know it's got some personal thought behind it. But if I've put yours in a low tier, it's because it didn't appeal to me. But that doesn't mean you should change it because of what I said. Please have a great day and I shall see you guys in the next video. Peace. Hey, oh. I've been up for like two hours. Two hours. Yo, bitch, can food took a few showers. Few showers. I don't buy my just money dance. Yeah. That wristwatch costs a hundred grand.